uh, in the past year. Past year, of course, we have uh, intensely uh, had uh, discussions with uh, Total, but it was always constructive. Many hours were spent, but eventually came to this great moment whereby we announced FID. And it's natural that parties protect their interests. And I must say, Total has protected their interests, but Suriname, and the regulator, has protected our interests as well. And there, somewhere, you find a common ground, which was found. Uh, we want to thank uh, Total uh, for uh, being constructive, and we respect you also for being firm, because you have to always uh, protect your interests. I can tell you now, Suriname will never be the same. And for sure from 28 on, but even before that, because between FID and the first production, there will be a lot of change as well. You might not know, but in the IMF framework, the oil production from the offshore was not recognized. So that's why it was so strict. But they have promised that from this moment on, this will be incorporated in the macroeconomic framework. Will give a huge relief to the Surinamese country because Suriname can do a lot more for the population of Suriname because of that. The local content will increase strongly. Uh, the last five wells from total will drill, were drilled from Suriname, and they spent 90 million US dollars in Suriname. In this project, they will drill 32 wells. So you can imagine, and the CEO of Total has uh, mentioned that 1 billion of this 10 billion plus will be spent in Suriname. I must say, I'm very proud of our Surinamese contractors because the port is operating at uh, full capacity and very well, but there was one of the contractors that came to Suriname to see if some jumpers, welding jobs, could be done from Suriname. And their report was, everything they saw in Suriname was far above expectations. So we're confident that some welding job will also be done in Suriname. And then, of course, a lot of good, but also bad people, will flock into Suriname. I hope we, Suriname, become better in recognizing the difference between good and bad. But of course, all these persons that will come to Suriname will need a hotel, they will need a cab, they will go to restaurants, they will visit shows, they will buy souvenirs, they'll make fancy stuff that you guys make. So this will bring a huge spin-off for our country. And that is all the things that will happen before 28. And then, from 28 on, we'll get the direct income from the Gran Morgo project. These incomes will be so high that even under poor governance, you will not notice anything. You will notice progress. And which, this is the danger of oil, big revenues from oil. Because you will not see anything in the, in the first 20 years, or maybe 40 years. And then, because oil is not infinite, it runs out. And prices fluctuate, sometimes 90, sometimes 9, and then governments come into trouble. And we have a lot of populist examples in the world, but the, the biggest are, of course, Venezuela and Nigeria. And we have a great risk of becoming those as well. So we, have, we will have to have good governance, and I want to emphasize populist, because the oil is not even there and we are already inundated under uncountable populist statements. You have heard them all. So we have to have good governance, otherwise we'll be penniless in the future. And believe me, it's not a possibility, it's a sure outcome, because this is economic principle, undeniable economic principle. If you're popular, you set prices at, at, in the market, you will eventually run out of uh, capital like Venezuela has with a lot of resources, one of the biggest oil resources in the world. Alcoa has been here for 100 years. Stazuli has been here for 44 years. I cannot speak of Alcoa, but I can speak of Stazuli. We spent more than 4.5 billion. We transferred more than 4.5 billion US dollars to the government. Look around you in Suriname, there is nothing tacit 
that you can see. So I warn, I warn us all, including myself, that we have to take care of the governments. This Gram Morgo project will create mega incomes, three billion US dollars in peak years. So it's as big as the GDP of Suriname, as I previously mentioned. And let's not see after six years or 100 years when total leaves, that they left nothing behind. Because this project has very good income for Suriname, very, very good. We mentioned between 16 and 26 billion, but with the upsides that we currently see, that could be higher, and with higher oil prices, that is also higher. This has to be very well managed. Even if we make this much income, eventually the oil will run out, Prices might uh, fluctuate a lot, so we have to really care about the good governance. Matide, now a breathy day. A gram morgo e biging, nang omus horeng, tapuan leti fasi nang apasi. Stasuli congratulates the Surinamese society with this great and special moment. From my heart, this is for the elderly, elderly in Suriname, which unfortunately, we have impoverished with decades of hyperinflation. When a small, small child is born, they look in their mother's eye and they hope and they trust that we'll make a good society where they can have a good life. And this is what we need to do. To do. No one needs to be poor anymore with these incomes, but it will, ha will have to be managed and Het gaat goed vertoeven worden in Suriname. Dus niet alleen dat we boven het bestaansminimum hoeven te leven. Er zijn zoveel inkomsten uit dit project. Gelooft u mij dat we niet alleen boven de armoedelijn hoeven te zijn, maar dat we een fijn leven gaan hebben, zoals de president net ook heeft gezegd. I thank you very much.